It, it kind of looks like an Iron Man Funko Pop. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm using these switches today. These are, oh God, I have, I have it listed. I can never remember what these are called. Cat Mink switches. These are from Cordy Pop. And I, these kind of got a little hyped up. And uh, we're trying them today. They're really nice looking switches. They're also pre-lubricated. I did double check because I did want to make sure this build goes super smooth. I opened, I'd say majority of them up just to see how well they were lubricated. Pretty nice. They're a milky top. Actually, I don't remember what the bottom material is. It's pretty nice, dude. They're factory lubed as well. They're 58 gram, uh, gram spring too with a 20 millimeter spring. So it's everything that I like in a switch. The only thing I dislike is the square, you know, the squared off stems. I find just reassembling the switches takes a little longer, uh, but man, Pretty excited to use these, plus they're really cute looking. So, so they sent the mode stabs. I really hope we got a hot swap PCB today because I did want to, I don't even know if these switches are going to be great for this. I do have back, backup switches already looped too. It is hot swap today. All right, what plates did they send over today? I think we're going to use PP today for funsies. All right, let's see. Let us see the color we have received today. We're going to co-build. Hell yeah. Oh, I think a screw got loose. Yeah, it did. I hope that didn't damage the keyboard in transit. It doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a nice color actually. It's my first time seeing this in, in person. That's really pretty. So they sent over gold accents, which I'm fine with. I think the, this obviously works, but I think this and silver would have looked so pretty together, but I, I can see why they sent this. This and gold does look really nice. Copper would be really nice for this too. This and that pistachio color they made, I think are my two favorite colors that Mode has put out thus far. New to the hobby, your videos are a great help. Death bots and boards based on your builds. Thanks guys. I'm just here for a good looking man on the top right corner of my screen. Hey, dude. But yeah, these switches seem good so far. Again, I have my first time using them. We'll see. All right, let's move this to the side. This is very Iron Man. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for keycaps today. I have no idea. Have you considered doing written reviews for your camera equipment? I would totally read camera reviews. Funny you asked that. I was considering that, but I just didn't know how many people actually wanted to hear my thoughts on camera stuff. But you know what? Honestly, I may, I may do that. I was thinking about starting some of the, um, starting with like some of the Fuji gear that I've gone through and tried. I wish I kept the X-H2S a little longer. I just did not need that camera. But I think I have enough Fuji stuff here that I can write about a some experiences here and just other things. Uh, and then also the Leica gear. But I think Leica gear is a little bit more of like a, it's such a niche within the niche. The first time I built this, it sounded good. Don't get me wrong. But I realized afterwards that I put in one of these gaskets, the, the lattice is wrong. There was different versions of the lattice blocks and I put like one of these in by accident on the top right corner. So this time I'm gonna make sure we use all the same lattices. Now I did some experimenting and I tend to like the um, ones with the more latticey parts, if you wanna call it that. I don't know a good way to describe it. So we're gonna use the ones with the more latticey parts. I find the solid blocks Definitely changes the sound profile. Now, is it good or bad? I think that's more of a personal preference, but I do find that this sounds a little bit more clearer and cleaner overall. The middle ones where it's like a little bit of the, let the lettuce, those I found do a pretty good job, but these sound a little bit more cleaner overall. All the right lettuces now. Yeah, this is basically all gold aluminum. There's no brass or anything like that in this build today. The solid blocks were my personal least favorite when doing more extensive testing with the uh, the loops from the last time I had them. Actually, this is nice with the gray feet. There is a lot that could go very nice with this board today. Let's be patient and see what we got here. But this looks really pretty. It's still kind of weighty for even just being aluminum. Like that looks so nice with the gold accent. Again, I think silver would look sick with this. 
But unfortunately, I don't have the silver accents available right now. But this looks sweet, dude. Like, genuinely so, so pretty. We could just go very basic and go white on black. Or DMG on PP. Maybe we do DMG no accents. All right, so this is the mode loop. Uh, you can check out the configurator now, but you won't be able to buy anything until the 28th, I think. Um, this is the all aluminum mode loop. This is their, their maroon burgundy color with gold accents. And we're using GMK DMG, which I actually think this ended up looking pretty good. I don't know if you guys think the same. The gold accent's a little different. It's fine, don't worry about it. Don't stress too much about it, guys. Not worth it. All right, let's see what this sounds like now. You can fix color matching in post. I might have to go back in and touch up the stabs. They sound pretty good already, but. PP plate, um, cat mink switches from Swag Keys, no foam. And we're using the largest lattice particular blocks. These switches are interesting. They're very loud switches. I like this space bar a lot. We've built builds, so just so you guys know, we've built a few loops already, and I've gotten a good range of sounds out of the, the loops. I knew this was gonna be a bit louder. That was the goal for today, to do something a little bit high pitch. But I, I was worried this would be thin high pitch, not gonna lie, uh, but I am genuinely surprised. It's also very soft, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see some of the movement of the PCB assembly. And let's see with it, no desk pad. I've actually been on a no desk pad kick these days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very honest. The the other boards, the back didn't really do it for me. Like it was, it was, I was kind of on the fence. But this color, I don't know why. This looks cool. It, it kind of looks like an Iron Man Funko Pop. I'm not even gonna lie. It looks like Iron Man Funko. Funko. If you would told, if you would have told me this is like a Marvel sound looking keyboard, then yeah, maybe that's why I don't mind this because there's like f familiarity with it. But I have no idea. I'm glad that they ended up going with the configurator route instead of the really, really expensive pre-built ones. The all aluminum one does does have some weight to it. It's not like, that, you know, heavy, heavy, but 1.86 kilos. I would say not bad. Not light, but not quite heavy. I'd say it's right in the middle in terms of how this, uh, this weighs in. See you guys. Bye-bye.